Do you play the base game in New Game Plus the same? No, I don't. You want to throw everything into the base game. Play everything you see, every quest you can do, because you want in your goal to get to level 50. It's close to level 50, because that's halfway to level 100. That way, when you start New Game Plus, all you have to do is rinse and repeat. Now, it's going to be a tougher game in New Game Plus, so that's why I changed my strategy. In New Game Plus, I play only the main storyline. I save everything. So to take up the lack of points from doing it that way, like I did the first time, I just kill more monsters. I kill spawning monsters. Respawning monsters get you a lot of points. And I stay off the quest. That way, when I hit level 100 and I'm in the top level Apex Witcher, I got a lot of quests to play. I believe this playthrough right now, I counted 79 quests left to play. That's not including Heart of Stone, Blood and Wine. How many quests are there to play the game? That's a good question, because there's a lot. There's over 250, I believe. So you're looking at a total of 500 quests. So if you can get half of them done in New Game Plus, you still have the other half to play. If you can make it to level 100 and have half the quest to play, you're doing great. But I counted my quests just because I just killed Aaron, and I got 129 quests I finished by following the main storyline. Like I said, the base game, throw them all. Do everything. Do everything. You're not worried about it. Your goal is level 100. So once I get to that now, I've got, I think, 79 quests left that I haven't used. And I'm going to try to avoid them. I'm going to focus specifically on Blood and Wine. And I'm going to wrap the next two and a half levels up in Tucson. It should be no problem. But so the answer is yes, you have a lot of quests, 250 of them. And try to play less than half in New Game Plus. That way you got a bunch left when you're level 100 Apex Witcher. Do you take all quests or select them? Like I just said, in the base game, take anything you want. Play that in the DLCs, the two DLCs, and you get to level 50 eventually. But in New Game Plus, you want to take on the main story quest. That's it. You don't want to branch off and chase the diary in darkness or the cheese professor, whatever it was, Professor Thoreau and the cheese. None of that stuff. Stick to the main story. I just whacked air, then I got two and a half levels to go, a little over two, and I got a 70 something, 79 quests I think left. That's what you want to do. Whack them in the base game, then when you play New Game Plus, be particular. Take only what you want and play as few as possible and kill a lot of monsters. If you think you killed a lot of them in the base game, kill them in New Game Plus, even double that. And you will level up quickly. What quest do you play in a base game? Do you select any? I always try to play the main quest first and then anything to get to level 50, including the DLCs. I usually have no problem. But out of habit, I don't chase the side quests. I more concentrate on killing monsters. Like here in White Orchard, on the east side, there's a lot of monsters to kill. I didn't even play the Noon Wraith quest in White Orchard. I completely skipped it. So the habits I have in New Game Plus still do apply for the base game. But if you're new, play everything you see in the base game and stick to just the main quest in New Game Plus. Your objective in New Game Plus is to make it to level 100 with the maximum amount of quests left. Very simple, very easy to do. I'm getting pretty good here. I'm getting ahead of myself on my questions. I'm saying the answers before they happen. No, you do not play it the same way. Just play just the main quest, stick to your guidelines, and try to do as little as possible. You make up the quest, like a lot of gamers say. you got to play the guest to get the levels. You don't get the points. You get the points. Neckers give you like a quarter of a point. Drowners give you like 10%. But the uh, the big monsters, the cyclops and the big snails and stuff and the skelligies, they give you much more. But I got a spot on the east side of Art Skelly where I go south of Redgill and I kill the sirens. I don't know why, but I level up so fast killing those things. Then you go north and there's the cyclops that will kill you. You've got to get your level up to get them. And I do go to Skelligies as fast as I can, usually three levels before the game says I can go. So yeah, I do play New Game Plus. I really go for the gut. 
And that's my key to doing this. You want to get it done, get it early, and get it over with. But just, if you get more than level 50 in the first game, the base game, it's less you have to do a new game plus. Because your goal eventually is level 100. Do you play all the quests in both games? Of course you do. The game's there for you to enjoy. But doing everything with the two DLCs in the main CD map here, Novograd and Velen and Skelligis, you should be able to easily hit at level 50. If you can get to level 70, you're rocking. Because that means you're doing the same, same thing again. You only have to go 30 levels. It's just crazy. It's ridiculously easy to beat. But the problem is too many gamers are following the quest to level up. Because there's some quests you play, you blow up on the level. Don't fall for the gig. Kill the monsters, kill the biggest, strongest monsters, and try to kill the respawning monsters. East side of Art Skelly, west side of Bellin, they're all over the place. I can't say specifically what I do because I take on anything and everything. But that being said, it's, I'm ready to go now. I'm level 90, almost level 98, and I got a lot of quests left. What is the best to level up with? Quests or monsters? Both. I know it's a crazy answer, but I mean, there's gamers out in this Witcher 3 world that swear that the quest will explode you like nothing. Yes, they will. But if you want to save quests in New Game Plus, you got to make up the balance of the points with monsters, and they come slow. I mean, really slow. So I go through the same thing. God damn it. Which monsters pay you the most points? Well, the biggest and baddest monsters you can find. But for some odd reason, south of Redgill, on the east side of Art Skelly, those darn sirens just seem to give me extra points. Why they do, I don't know. I don't understand why. And they do respawn. So that would be my ideal monster point. Not the drowner respawn on the west side of Bellin. You just you shoot that crossbow so much your thumb will start hurting. So I do say the sirens on the east side of Art Skelly. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I get the most points from those things, and they're not the toughest monster. The toughest monster will give you the most points, not killing Neckers all day long. Why are respawning monsters the best to kill? Easy, get your points quicker. They can over and over and over and over. You have to wander the map looking for other monsters to make points on. That's why they're the best. Now this is a New Game Plus question. Follow the main quest, kill a lot of monsters, and you will get to level 100, and you're going to be surprised. You're going to have a whole lot of game left, and your sword is going to be so bad arse, it's going to destroy everything. So that's it for this video, guys and girls. I say it's best I can do to explain it, because you don't follow a set pattern when you play this game. You just go by specifics. So until I think of something to share with you next time, you guys and girls keep on gaming. Y'all take it easy, and take care.